Here we are, it's Merlin. It's about 9.30 in Anchorage, Alaska right now. I just want to talk to you guys about one of my upcoming projects coming up. So down here in my crawl space, I've got a, a bee's nest. I'm gonna show you guys that, but first I want to give you a little bit of background on uh, what happened. So we had bought the house and uh, that was six years ago and there were dead bees everywhere. And uh, oh, we couldn't figure out where they were coming from. You know, there were never really many live bees at that point, but uh, you know, it was maybe this last summer, I went down there. I was plumbing in my utility sink. It's a mess. I was plumbing in my utility sink and I had to get the drain pipe down through here, have it curve around and then meet the main drain from the house. So I'm not very good at any of this and I don't know much about bees either. But uh, what we're gonna do is uh, probably go down there and grab the bees nest and uh, bring it outside and just set it down. I've been reading the Bible a lot because the Bible actually speaks towards gentleness quite a bit. You know, New Testament, I don't read Old Testament very much, it's, you know, unless it's the New International Version, then I'll read Old Testament. But uh, we're going to be as gentle as possible and hope that we don't have a bunch of karma that's going to get us stung up. So let me give you some background here too. The last owners had lava rocks down here. I never really liked him. The lawnmower picked him up, kicked him around, kicked him at the windows, but uh, someone liked him. So the problem with lava rocks is that they're really porous and they hold on to water, which is uh, it's an oasis for bugs. So bees love them. I actually just replaced those lava rocks about two days ago. Here we've got seven buckets i think that i pulled a total of 10 buckets of lava rocks 10 five gallon buckets of lava rocks so i guess i'm gonna show you guys the bees nest i haven't seen it in about six months so this is exciting stuff it's real pretty you guys ready to see this it's big they must have been a thriving colony at some point i imagine that what happened is that uh there was a bee in the house and somebody swatted it, you know, trying to kill it. And uh, it let off its pheromone because bees are odor based. I found that out from my research. So once that pheromone goes off, all the bees swarm. They say, hey, our buddy's in trouble and we're gonna friggin' kill whoever's doing this. And uh, that's, a lot of people don't like bees, but uh, I like bees. Like, uh, that's a really kind of cool nature, you know? Could you imagine if somebody at school was getting bullied and then they farted and then all of a sudden all the kids went, my buddy's in trouble, I need to go help him. We'd be pretty powerful, wouldn't we? Ants kind of do the same thing, you know? They, you don't ever see an ant stop to eat food before it goes to its hive. It, uh picks it up and brings it there, you know, unless it really has to eat. So ants really care about ants, you know, bees really care about bees. That's a good quality. Most people don't have. And I found out that bees, uh, further generations of bees, long after they've left the mother nest, will actually try to return back to the mother nest. They've got it in their genetics. They know where it is, so they come back just to check it out, you know. Oh, hey, I lived there in a past life. I'll check it out. So, so what I want to do, most people would say to spray it. That doesn't seem very gentle to me. So, also, if I spray it, they're going to see that it's sprayed. They're not going to like me. So, I'm just going to pick it up real gently, bring it out back, set it down kind of let it ride the winter and then next year they can all see that hey there's the nest this big black bug it had like a long stinger on it and uh it scared the piss out of me i did kill it so back then i was i was still the culprit so i wasn't very gentle back then so well it popped in my head my daughter had a bee she found it in the bathroom 
and they, we needed to get it out. And I went, nobody's even been outside. No bee has gotten in here. You know, why is there a bee in the bathroom? And and it just sprung on me. I said, oh, they're hatching. That, that's what they're doing. They're hatching out of that hive downstairs. So I Googled what a paper wasp queen looks like. And that was the bug two years ago. It was flapping. They gave me that instinctual feeling. So it popped a queen on me. So time to take care of business, huh? I don't know when this is going to happen. I got to do a lot more research. I got to figure out what kind of music bees like. So help me out if you can. All right. Peace out.